Hi, this is Ian Allen, and you are about to see BioVengers in action. Jam, don't hot yet. It is not a lash, it is a fact. It's wetting after wetting after wetting. Miss Hussein discovers that her daughter is always weak and tired. Her daughter complains that she frequently experiences muscle pain. Miss Hussein decides to visit the drugstore when the tragedy strikes. <laughs> Good afternoon, Liz. What do you have? What's your problem with the patient? The patient just had a fall to the front. Okay. She had a lacerations to the left side of the head here. Yeah. And she's in complaining of severe muscle pain and weakness. Okay. Um, hook up today, IV. Do a urethra, a blood test, a EMG, and a muscle biopsy. I'll be back to do the stitches and stuff in a while, okay? Excellent, Dr. She's going to be okay? Yeah, she will. We will do the best we can, okay? Um, I'll be back to stitch up. Let's can you get the um You will take the test and send it into the lab, okay? Sure, I will do it now. That's okay, we should thanks. Be more pain. Um, we will, when the test comes back, we will know what is causing the pain, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, can you wait in the waiting room, please? Sure. Um, follow me.
Okay, so it showed activity at the beginning, but then it lapsed at the end. Yeah, so it's showing that she had little elasticity. Oh. And, and the, at the beginning, she had real pain with the muscles. Yes, so, right. and the biopsy showing she had increased concentration of glycogen and a lack of myophosphorylase. Okay, well, I think that she has Mercado syndrome. Cause I'll call in a parent. Yeah, I have to explain to the parents the procedure that they will have to follow, you know. Yeah. Give me a second. Okay, thanks. Oh, sorry, hold on a second. Yes, ma'am. Well, from the results taken, you saw that your daughter is suffering from McCardle's syndrome. What? What is that? No, don't worry. It's just... She will die? No, no, no. It's just a defect with the I will muscle. I will you with this video explaining in detail Mercado's syndrome. And after viewing, if you have any questions or concerns, you are free to come in and I will assist you. Okay, then. So, this should have all the information then. Yeah. And anything you don't understand, you could always come back. Okay, then. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mercado's syndrome is a glycogen storage disease, also known as GSD type 5. It is a deficiency of the enzyme myophosphorylase, which converts glycogen stores to glucose, an important source of energy. Glycogen is a way in which the muscle tissue stores glucose. The metabolism of glycogen to glucose does not take place. The concentration of glucose in the cell becomes the limiting factor in the formation of ATP, which is required for muscle contractions. When working muscles run out of energy, a rapid onset of fatigue is experienced. Any moderate to rigorous physical activity can result in a failure episode, resulting in injury and damage to the muscles. Effects of exercise on glycogen storage disease, Mercado's disease. Aerobic exercises rely on oxygen intake to produce energy which builds endurance by using red blood cells more efficiently to transport oxygen throughout the body. These include running, swimming and cycling. Anaerobic exercises rely on blood sugar to generate the power necessary to complete the workout. These include weightlifting, resistant machines and sprinting. Anaerobic glycolysis on a normal cell. In the normal muscle cell, glycogen is broken down into glucose. Glycogen being broken down into glucose. Impact by the enzyme myophosphorylase, producing some energy ATP right away. So ATP energy is produced right away. This is the mitochondrial nucleus. In Mercado's disease, the lack of the enzyme my myophosphorylase doesn't allow glycogen to be broken down into glucose for immediate energy production. No energy is produced for the muscle. An aerobic, aerobic metabolism for the normal cell, after some minutes, most energy production shifts to the mitochondria in addition to using pyruvate, a product glycolysis, as a fuel. The mitochondria call on free fatty acids, glucose, and amino acids from the bloodstream. For Macaulay's disease, the mitochondria produce energy. This is the mitochondria producing the energy from blood transported fuel sources alone. When this process begins, the person experiences a second when one exercises and, exercises and can continue exercise. The diet is 35 to 40 percent fat, 25 to 30 percent protein, 30 to 35 percent carbohydrates. These are provide sources of energy to the body. Glycogen is converted to glucose when the enzyme myophosphorylase is present. Glycogen is not converted to glucose when the enzyme myophosphorylase is absent. It causes a effect in a gene that produces the enzyme myophosphorylase. The body cannot break down the glycogen in the muscles. It is an autosomal recessive genetic disorder. Symptoms associated are burgundy colored urine, fatigue, Exercise intolerance, poor stamina, muscle cramps, muscle pain, muscle stiffness, and muscle weakness.
This explains all of Christine's symptoms. Signs and tests. We perform the following tests. Electromyography. This checks the health of the muscles and the nerves that control it. It was found that the muscle was very weak caused by injury to the nerve. Lactic acid in the blood. A lactate test was performed and lactic acid was found in the erythrocytes. This is as a result of the body breaking down carbohydrates to use for energy during times of low oxygen levels during intense exercise. Erythrocytes are mature red blood cells. Muscle biopsy. This helped to determine whether the disorder was due to the nerve cells or muscle cells. Myoglobin in urine. When the muscle cells are damaged, it causes myoglobin to leak out into the bloodstream. This is at the risk of kidney failure if severe. Plasma ammonia test. This indicated an increased concentration of ammonia in the blood, indicating that the body is not effectively metabolizing and eliminating ammonia. Serum creating kinase, CPK. High levels were found in the blood as a result of damage to muscles, causing it to leak into the bloodstream. Treatment. There is no specific treatment, but the symptoms can be managed by improving exercise tolerance and controlling physical activity. Avoid excessive or intense exercises such as anaerobic exercises. Dietary management. Always have a supply of glucose at hand to replace energy. Example, candy or glucose supplements. It is advised that you consider genetic counseling if your family has a history of McCardell syndrome. Good evening, doctor. Good evening, Ms. Hussein. I just came in to tell you that I saw the part of video. Yeah. I understand certain things it was okay. very well. Detail, but there are certain yeah. things that need to clarify. Alright, so just in case I forget, okay, um, in the video you was mentioning something about a gene. What is a gene? Well, a gene is a unit of inheritance that is transferred from a parent to their children. Okay, and what does autosomal recessive mean? Autosomal recessive means that a copy of the non-working gene must come from both parents. If a copy comes from one parent, mm -hmm then the syndrome is not developed. And a family history also increases the risk for this syndrome. Okay, and what is myoglobin? Well, myoglobin is a red protein that carries and stores oxygen in the muscle cells. And you were saying something about a CPR? A CPK. A CPK. A CPK, CPK, yes. CPK is an enzyme found in the skeletal muscle. Oh, um, an enzyme is a... Uh, well, an enzyme is a protein that causes chemical changes in all parts of the body in order for it to function properly. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was just all my questions. So, from this now, everything should be okay with my child? Yeah, yeah, but she will need to come for checkups. Um, your daughter showed signs of improve improvement after the IV fluids were administered mm -hmm. since this contained glucose in it. And when the glucose were... It, released directly into her bloodstream, it allowed her to be supplied with free glucose for energy. And will, she will be discharged today, mm -hmm. but you will need to bring her back in three days for checkups. Oh, okay. Well, meanwhile, just follow what you say in the video and everything should be okay. Yeah, she? yeah, and we will monitor her on a weekly basis, you know, and you could also, um, Go for genetic advising. Mm -hmm. Yeah, concerning the syndrome. Okay. Well, thank you, doctor. Nice okay, no problem. You. Nice Bye. to see you, Mr. Bye. 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 Hi, Christine. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? A little better. Okay. Um. Well, you are being discharged. I spoke to your mom already. You will be back in three to four days. Well, three days, to be exact. Um, careful. I saw the time.
I'm tired. All day I try to take a drink. All day and I get one up to now. Ah, tem que pensar em mim, que é mais velho.